Breaking news this morning. A man leading the search for a missing driver after a massive road wash out in Trick County ends up finding that his own mother was the victim. Officials say 61 year old Nancy Fox was killed when her car was swept away during last night's storms. Her son, Trigg County Rescue Squad Chief Barry Fox, was leading the search overnight. This is the road that watched, washed out part of a Black Hawk Road in Cadiz, leaving behind a 20-foot deep hole in the road. Trigg County Emergency Management released a statement saying those of us involved with emergency preparedness and response in Trigg County are saddened and numbed by this tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family. And our thoughts go out to the family as well this morning. Matthew Torres is live on the scene there where they're getting hit with more rain and severe weather, as Leland mentioned just a minute ago. So we're trying to reestablish that picture for you. And as soon as we do, we'll take you there live. 3,000 people are still in the dark this morning. Last night's storms even knocked out power at the Nashville International Airport. Generators kept things running pretty smoothly, but several flights had to be diverted. The power is now back on at the airport. And some powerful winds and heavy rains left behind a mess in White House. The fire chief tells us a sprinkler main ruptured at Lowe's Millwork after a 40 by 50 foot section of the roof collapsed. The building suffered some heavy water damage, but luckily no one was hurt. Well, more breaking news this morning. Officers are looking for two suspects who possibly got away in an SUV after another smash and grab burglary. Boy, how many times have we seen this happen lately? This one is at the raceway on Old Hickory Boulevard up in Hermitage. Happened about two hours ago at 5 o'clock. This surveillance video just given to us by Metro Police. The masked burglars using that cinder block to go right through the front door. They made off with two cash registers and about 20 cartons of cigarettes. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. New this morning, a second person is facing charges in connection to a bizarre murder. Cuthbert Langley joins us in studio now with some developments from overnight. And this guy's been a suspect since the beginning, Cuthbert. Amy, he has. And within the last hour, I've been able to learn from police that James Simmons has been charged with criminal homicide. He's accused of murdering Luis Diaz, dumping his body in Rockville, and then hiding his car up in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Here's a look at Simmons, the guy we're talking about here. For the last week, Metro Police said they were going to charge him with murder and then last night they finally did. Simmons had been in jail on a probation violation for the last couple of weeks. Police say he and Joshua Smith set up a drug deal with Diaz, who was last leaving his job, leaving his job at the Sonic restaurant on Murfreesboro Pike earlier this month. When officers found Diaz's car, they said there was evidence on the scene that connected these two men with Diaz's murder. And we've been learning some new information this morning. We also were able to pick up that Diaz was allegedly shot multiple times and where his body was dumped down there in Rockville is where the, one of the suspects actually ended up living. So that's why he was dumped there, according to police. So there still is much more investigating to do. We are expecting some more details coming down a little bit later on today, and we'll update you on air and online at newschannel5.com. Once we get all that information for now, though, we'll send it back to Amy. All right, thank you very much. After nearly two weeks on the run, two of the TBI's most wanted are behind bars this morning. Metro's gang unit and ATF agents say Terrence Kimbrough and Daryl Starks barricaded themselves inside a home on Blank Street yesterday, but eventually surrendered when their parents arrived. They face murder and attempted murder charges for a string of shootings over the past several weeks. Kimbrough was also wanted for two murders outside a convenience store last year. Both men are being held without bond. Well, we now know the name of the man found shot and killed in South Nashville. Patrick Burdine's body was discovered in his Horizon Park apartment Monday night. He had been shot several times and actually toppled through a sliding glass window. Police are still looking for suspects. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. We've learned the name of the woman found dead at Center Hill Lake over the weekend. Investigators say this woman, Lauren Ag's body, was found Sunday afternoon near the Still Point boat ramp. No foul play is suspected, but investigators are still waiting on autopsy results. And as we get more information, we'll pass it along. Funeral services being planned for today for a well-known Nashville leader and civil rights champion. Dozens came by for the visitation for Francis Guess yesterday. He was a former commissioner of the State Department of General Services, appointed by President Ronald Reagan also to serve on the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights. He died last week at the age of 69. We'll be airing today's service live on News Channel 5 Plus right here and also on NewsChannel5.com. It starts at 1230.